What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming and welcome to game number 3 here between EG's Idra and EG's Demuslim. This time we are here on Taldarim Altar. We do have Demuslim spawning in the lower right hand position as our light blue Terran player. And then over here in the lower left hand position is EG's Idra as the green Zerg player. So yes, this is game number 3 right now. These two players tied up 1-1 one, one in the series between the two. And Idra managing to win that first game quite convincingly. Very impressive play. Last game, we saw Demazum do the same style of build, opening up those Hellions and moving out with that quick third expansion. Idra attempted to punish him by going for a quick Roach and Speedling push. However, Demazum able to properly defend against it and uh, with some nice target firing with those uh, with those Marauders targeting the Roaches and the Hellions targeting those Speedlings. Demazum was able to actually prevent that push from breaking the front base and uh, that basically forced Idra to just call the GG. He kind of threw his hands up in the air. I mean, he was very far behind at that point in the game. He, he could have stayed in, and he could have tried to play it out, but I think he was in the position, especially, you know, he's playing against his teammate. The Muslim plays on the same team. Again, they're both on Team EG. Uh, he probably knows, all right, Demuslim's not gonna, he's not gonna, uh, let me <laughs> recover from this, essentially. Idra realizing that Demuslim's a strong player, and he's not gonna let him just come back after being that far behind early on. Just decided to just call it right there. So yeah, there you go, that's that. Uh, we have Demuslim right now, looks to be opening up with that very, very fast refinery, and you can see right now, already getting close to that 50 Vespian in his racks has just started building. This, of course, is going to let him get that factory out right away, so obviously, if very techy opening here from the Muslim. If nothing else, just going for that fast factory to open up Hellions and then moving to expand again. But yes, going refinery before Rax allows you to get that factory the second that the Rax finishes. That's the whole mentality there. Back over here for Idra. Opened up hatch, then into spawning pool. I have been seeing him lately just kind of really hold off quite a while until he gets that first extractor. Essentially allowing him to drone up a lot harder early on, get out a spine crawler or two for defense, and then get the speed upgrade a little bit later. But again, this provides him with a stronger economy. And as I mentioned, you can see right there, the second that that Rax finishes right away, coming out with that factory, he's got that reactor coming, and there it is, thinning up the numbers on that refinery down to just one harvester there. So again, opening up Hellion, and then from there, we'll be moving into expansion. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know what I was doing there. I was just pausing for a moment. Maybe it's for dramatic effect. I've got no idea. Anyways, right now, Scouting Drone will be moving out. Uh, first, it looks like Idra did move out and check the upper left-hand position. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, yeah, he checked up the upper left-hand position and then pulled on down here to the lower right and actually the uh, the far right position in relation to his spawn location and finally scouting it out. Now, he will get that full scout. He sees the reactor. He sees that factory timing as well. So he knows right now Hellions are coming. And look at that immediate response, dropping down one spine crawler. Nice placement there as well. Allows that spine to hit almost almost all angles, slightly over a little bit too, will pretty much let him to hit hit any Hellions that attempt to kind of uh, skirt along that edge there. We do have right now one SCV moving out. Now the only issue with Demuslim's opening here, when you go for that, that, that refinery first, then racks in that very quick factory, straight into the reactor, it means you have no early on Marines. So a little bit less uh, uh, offensive, super early in the game, uh, with lacking those Marines. But as soon as those Hellions come out, the Muslim's certainly in a strong position. He's going to have map control for the next few minutes, at least until that metabolic boost comes into play. Not sure how much damage he's actually going to be able to do to Idra, but if nothing else, a contain is what we do expect him to be able to have. Actually spreading out with those Hellions, as we can see. We got a couple Speedlings moving out, and uh, oh, the Hellion just barely missed those Speedlings as they made their way across. He could have been able to get those, but here's that expansion right now for the Muslim. Now, is he going to do again a quick third? Because we've been seeing him try that uh, these first two games, and you know, really, he was okay last game because of the defense against Idra, but the first game, that certainly didn't pay off. And here we go. A couple of Speedlings moving down and they're actually going to be able to stop the production of this expansion because the Muslim has no defense. And we can see, in fact, right now pulling back with those first two Hellions. So right now, just that small little aggression from those two Zerglings is enough to uh, break that contain because the Muslim is forced to pull back. So Idra not dealing with any contain right now. He could sneak out a few more Zerglings for some secondary scouting later in the road. And now, now that those two Hellions are finally back, two more in production, uh, we should be seeing right now the Muslim continue to move back out with that contain. But is Idra going to be able to sneak out a few Zerglings beforehand? Looks like he won't be able to as uh, Demuslim is well on his way over to the front of Idra's base right now. That Queen plus that Spine Crawler though obviously will be stopping those Hellions from pushing on in. And once more, the Muslim is just going for the contain. But unfortunately, Idra didn't sneak anything out. And look at this super sneaky hidden expansion up there in the uh, 12 o'clock position. The Muslim still 
He just loves going for that fast, fast third. And that is just absolutely unreal in all honesty. We do have Edge right now fanning out with these two overlords. And let's check their scouting routes. I want to know where they're going. Actually, they won't be scouting out this expansion if they go along their, their uh, current trajectory. So hopefully Idra does, does change the roots of those two and manages to scout that expo up here because right now he will not be checking that with the way they're going at the moment. Uh, but this is so sneaky. Clearly, though, if this is something that is scouted out by Idra, then Demuslim straight up loses it. I mean, there's no way he can defend that. So far away from his main and his natural. But... As mentioned in the first game, if this gets up and running, Demosum will be in a strong position if Idra just never realizes that, that it's even there. Now it looks like we will be seeing a repeat of what we saw in that first game. Idra will be waiting until he has got just enough to break this contain. We can see right now getting up those speedling numbers. He will be getting some banelings into play and also that layer just finished. So we, I'm expecting a Spire and there it is. Spire coming on through. Where is that? I'm not sure where it's even located. There it is. So Idra coming out that Spire. So it looks like he'll be doing the exact same thing. Preparing to break that contain right now. And it looks like the Muslim also following up with the same style build. It will be a Marine tank contain that he'll be following up this Hellion contain with. Speedling's trying to push out and break this, but those four Hellions more than enough with a little bit of micro to take care of it. And look at that, Idra forced back after losing a few Zerglings right now. A total of 200 resources lost thus far. I don't think no, no workers have been killed at all this game. Only five Zerglings have been managed to be killed over here for the Muslim. Actually, maybe even be four Zerglings because he did kill off that Overlord. Pretty certain that that counts towards that as well. Idra actually preparing to try to move those speedlings from the backside. And look at this little showdown here. Hellions moving forward, getting a few free kills there. That allows the speedlings a little bit of breathing room. And is that what's heading out across the map? Yes, it is. We have got some speedlings heading out across the map. And Idra, is he doing some scouting with these? Please be doing some scouting. Because, again, you have got that free kill up here. Again, this is absolutely 100% a free kill. Any SCVs over here, plus this command center, are dead a dead on arrival the second that Idra spots at and is aware that that expansion is there. Hellion's still working up their contain. We have Idra preparing to move into his third expansion. And here is that follow-up push preparing right now for the Muslim. He's got that uh, Stimpak research finished, working his way through combat shield. He's keeping up that tank production and churning out those Marines as well. Working on saturation over there at that natural expansion. He's got some pretty hefty saturation up here at that hidden third. Hellion's moving down, getting a few free Zergling kills again. Uh, Still, those destructible rocks have not been taken out, so Idra is going to have to wait a little while longer before he gets that expo up, but here we go. Mutas are on the board right now, so that's enough to push back just those Hellions, and are we going to be seeing this push? Looks like the Muslim is preparing to do it, but still hasn't moved out yet. Idra deciding not to contend with those rocks anymore will be actually moving down his expansion over here. And there we go, Speedlings and Mutas getting a full surround on those Hellions in the center of the map, allowing him to take those out. And we've got those Mutas attempting to push forward right now. Lots of Marines, though, and that's way more than is necessary to take out that amount of Mutas. Trying to push on in. And anyways, ew, I'm a little uh, perplexed by that. Idra, that was not a good move. I'm not sure he was paying 100% attention to that, to be perfectly honest with you, because... He walked into certain death there. He should have seen the amount of Marines and pushed back with those speedlings. Luckily, he didn't end up losing Mutas in that engagement because that could have been absolutely devastating if those Mutas got too close to that amount of Marines. Now, what we may see Idra do right now is one of two things. While this is pushing out, he may just try to counterattack. The other thing, too, is you try to sit in the middle where reinforcements will be coming and use your Mutas to take out those to try to prevent this push and this attempted contain from being too devastating. There's a scan, getting a little bit of vision. He does catch the fringe there of those Banelings, and they are just about finished morphing in. We do have those tanks setting up shop right now, so we need Marines in the back to protect those tanks, and the tanks, of course, to protect those Marines against those Speedlings and Banelings, but again, this is a repeat of the first game. The same very type of style here for the Muslim. The one notable difference, though, is that Idra still doesn't know about this expansion. We can see Idra moving with those Mutas, getting ready to try to push the backside with the Mutas against those tanks as those Speedlings and Banelings try to push forward, and we can see 24 more speedlings getting ready to pop and those mutas right now trying to pick off any reinforcements but the muslim playing very smart not reinforcing realizing that this is happening and here comes the push right now speedlings and banelings at the front mutas in the back right now tanks doing what they can for splash it looks like there are enough marines though to push back the remainder of those forces. Not enough speedlings right now. Tanks trying to move forward, and here we go. Trying to converge on everything. Those Marines doing so much damage, but unfortunately too many Mutas, not enough. And again, without being able to reinforce because Idra playing very wisely with those Mutas, and Demuslim realizing that that was happening, we saw no reinforcements during that, and that allowed Idra to eventually overcome it. But again, look at this. Still hidden, tucked away up there in a 12 o'clock position is Demuslim's third expansion. And that's going to 
pr prove absolutely invaluable because look at the crazy amount of production right now. He's churning out of five racks. He's got another expansion coming up, so that'll be moving into his fourth. And look at the crazy upgrades as well. He's 0-1 right now for his ground units, about to get armor. He's also got the level one vehicle weapons coming on through as well. This is a very, very big advantage right now for the Muslim. Look at that resource-wise. The Muslim in a very strong position. And I'm so it's so unfortunate that Idra hasn't scouted that yet. Now, we do have that third up. Idra hasn't really saturated that. He's attempting to do so now. And he will be actually moving forward with some attempt at Muta Harass. Now, let's see what he can do. Picking off the SCV, doing a bit of damage, actually forcing the cancel right there of that uh, command center and actually we'll be going straight for those attachments as well hopefully we see the muslim get a repair down on that walking through the turrets taking a little bit of extra damage marines still pursuing those mutas and the mutas forced now into that far right corner We'll be reusing them, hopefully sometime soon, once the Marines and everything else pushes back here. I mean, he's got an opportunity right now to actually move up and pick off a turret, even get a depot before those Marines move forward to engage. Idra right now scouting out that third expansion, but looky there, there's absolutely nothing for him to go up against. We've got some Thors in the mix right now as well to help up against those clumped up Mutalists, and again, losing some speedlings kind of unnecessarily. Idra just not paying 100% uh, attention to his forces. And right now, actually, we will be having the Muslim drop some turrets and prepare to move into that third expansion. He's got that command center rebuilding right over here. This one's still nice and safe, tucked away. Idra scouting out over here and over here, but not the right position yet. Idra is attempting to move into his fourth. How is his macro going? He's got infestation pick coming out. Still just on layer tech. Hasn't worked his way up into hive quite as of yet. Lots and lots of mutas on the map, sitting at 25 total, plus those 63 speedlings. No banelings yet. He will be saving, waiting up until this push comes before he even starts morphing in any bane lengths. Idra preparing for an attack on the main, and at the same time, a push moving across the middle. Now, how is this going to work? Will Idra keep up this attack? He does have enough mutas to just do devastating amounts of damage, and it looks like the Muslim deciding not to pull back. He's just continuing to push forward right now. This is a pretty crucial moment in this game. How is uh, the Muslim going to be able to defend himself? How is Idra going to be able to defend himself? He's got 12 Banelands coming in. Those are going to get taken up before they're even morphing in, though, and the Stimmerines moving forward, doing so much damage. we got those mutas still in the main, taking out production buildings. Idra has decided it's time Time to push back. He cannot afford to keep this up or else he's going to lose the game right here. We've got the Mutas coming back. A couple Speedlings moving from that direction. Tank's very vulnerable right now, though. We need those Marines to stim back. There we go. A couple of those Marines. Banelings move forward at the exact same time. Some nice Marine micro, but the Banelings pushing back. Those Marines allowed Idra to take out those tanks. And that was beautiful, absolutely beautiful play there by Idra. He took out all of those tanks, but still there's a hefty amount of Marines left, and it looks like this expansion will get sniped down. Forced to actually come down with some workers. micro back. We got those uh, medevacs healing up those Marines, allowing them to continue up the damage spree here. And they are tearing through those workers, but there are enough mutas to finally push those back. The medevacs get dropped. Losing a lot there, losing so much, and unfortunately not able to drop that expansion. I almost wish that the Muslim had just forced fired that down, but he really felt like he had the forces to contend with those Mutas. Unfortunately, as we saw, that was not the case. Ew, boy. That was not good. I hit back, so I pulled this back 10 seconds. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> it's super embarrassing. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, what I wanted to see was Idris' vision. I didn't want to hit the B button. So, as you can see, Idris still hasn't scouted that out. And even though the Muslim lost a ton there, I'm going to say he's not out of it yet. You can see, actually, Idris is still behind in terms of the resources lost so far this game. Uh, so, Idris isn't in kind of a uh, absolutely dominant lead. If we take a look at the workers' kill, they're about even there as well. Um, so, you know, it's not completely one-sided, even though Idra did a fantastic job defending that, and the fact that he saved this hatchery was absolutely phenomenal. The sheer fact that Idra, that the Muslim has had this up and Idra hasn't scouted it at all means that the Muslim is still in the game. I think otherwise he would pretty much be knocked out right now, but, uh, you know, the world's not over for the Muslim is all I'm trying to say right now. Now, I would like to see possibly even some drop harass. I know it's a little difficult when mutas are on the board, but it can still happen. The Muslim looks like he's preparing, though, to just push out outright right now with his forces. He's got a lot more Marines, a lot of mutas there, so it's going to be a very strong push again. He is just wanting to defend momentarily, allowing these turrets to to get up before he pushes out with the bulk of his force and there we go finally should be seeing a push sometime soon now this the secondary push right now that we're seeing from the muslim the goal really is to break that hatchery he realizes that it's nice and weak right now uh, so the idea will be to break it at this moment the hive tech is coming through we do have that uh, fourth saturated and also that fifth expansion as we saw just get up right now as well 
Still lots and lots of mutas in play. Sitting with a total of 26 and three more about to pop. We got Pathogen Lands coming out for those Infestors. And Idra is attempting to move up. There are a lot of turrets right now, and that's probably enough to deter him. And it looks like it is. We do have Idra at that tower. Allowed him to spot the Muslim's push. So here it comes right now with the Muslim moving across the map again. Following up with this Marine and Tank push. And let's see if Idra is prepared. He will be attempting again to cut off reinforcements and do everything that he can. Very nice reinforcement starvation there. Stimmed up Marines a little early. They were attempting to deal with those Marines and here it comes right now tanks moving forward Marines spreading out to try to defend as much as possible just a small amount of Marines in the front because he needs them to protect those tanks as those mutas attempt to move them from the backside and this is a very crucial moment right now is he gonna be able to snipe that expansion is he gonna be able to protect this we don't mutas attempting to move up from the backside there are enough Marines to push him back right now oh and the Muslim tearing through the forces with a very nice spread right there this should allow the Muslim right now to take out that expo I think he's got what it takes very nice. He's still got three tanks up right now. A couple Marines moving forward. And there we go. The expansion gets dropped. Muta's back over here preparing to cut off additional reinforcements. But this is looking pretty good right now for Demuslim. He's continuing up these upgrades. He's already 0-1 for his mech. 2-2 for those Marines. Any of that bio there. And he's got 3-3 coming out as well. And a lot more Marines pushing out. Actually shredded through a few of those Mutas over there. And here comes the continued push from the Muslim. A few Banelings. Some nice micro, though, trying to stay back. And oh no, those Banelings do so much damage. But the Muslim just having so many Marines tearing through all of the Mutas. And Idra just leaving the game, realizing that was it, losing that expansion. And still having so many Marines left meant the Muslim was about to march his way right up into the main and take out all of Idra's tech. The Muslim opened up this game again the same way he has this entire series, opening up first with Hellions, moving into that natural, and at the exact same time getting a third. However, this game, he managed to get up a very, very hidden third, and this is something that Idra never managed to scout. The Muslim was able to push out with those initial four Hellions and do that early contain, preventing any speedlings of Idra from pushing out and getting any scouting done in the early stage of the game. Idra worked his way up into Mutas to break that Hellion contain, was also able to get a surround with those speedlings. He then attempted to push out for a counterattack, however, a bit of Miss Micro forced him to lose quite a bit of Zerglings unnecessarily. As Idra was moving into his third expansion, we saw Demuslim push out with a Marine tank contain. Just like in the first game, we saw Idra mount up enough forces to break the contain and then push out with a full surround, and also using Mutas to cut off reinforcements and hit tanks from the backside. The notable difference in this game, however, is that after breaking that marine tank contain, the Muslim still had a very strong economy because his hidden expansion was never scouted. Idra worked up to some strong muta numbers and was able to push against the Muslim as his forces were moving across the map. However, due to his hidden, unscouted expansion, the Muslim had more than enough forces to force Idra to pull back with those mutas for fear of losing the game immediately. Idril was able to stop this push, however, again, due to a strong economy from a hidden expansion, the Muslim just quickly re-upped his forces and pushed out for a second push that forced the GG. All right, guys, there you go. That was game number three here between the Muslim and Idra, and unfortunately for Idra, not scouting out that third, that hidden expansion really was his downfall. Uh, hopefully, you guys did enjoy this game. We will be moving on to game number four in just one moment. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.